What is up, guys? I'm. S what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So I'm sorry. I like again. I haven't been posting. Like I haven't been feeling good. But let's get back into the. Let's get back into recording videos every single week. I'm gonna try and get back to record videos every single week. And so this is the live satellite. This is the live satellite loop. The water vapor imagery live satellite loop. So if we turn on the visible satellite, you aren't going to see much since it is nighttime in, in all of the United States right now. So that's why we are all, this is the infrared, which put pictures how high the cloud tops are. And we also have, right, that's what I was doing here, the water vapor image. And let's get into it. So we do have a lot of snow coming down in upstate New York right now. A good amount of snow coming in upstate New York. And we could possibly have a significant severe weather outbreak on Tuesday, which we are going to need to be watching out. And as you can see, we do have a good amount of water vapor or just very moist areas here in parts of Colorado, parts of Colorado. And we also do have the live radar, as you can see, a good amount of snow starting to form. And I'll see you guys on the models. What's up, guys? So these are the dew points right now. As you can see, in the classic severe weather setup, there's always like a drawing line and a dew point. As you can see, by 1 a.m., the dew points start to go away. Because the dry line comes with them, there's going to be more severe weather here. And now, let's view the reflectivity. So, as you could see, by 1 p.m., actually by 3 p.m. is when the storms start to form. And as you can see, by 6 p.m. it's really strong. I wouldn't be surprised if the moderate or enhanced risk would go in this area. And as you can see, and then by like 11 p.m., it's like about around 1 a.m. is when it starts to be linear. But this could be an overnight event. And the significant tornado parameter is fairly high. Wow, the significant tornado parameter is pretty high here, even in Texas. I wouldn't be surprised. If the if the enhanced risk got more extended towards the this area, and as you can see, there is discrete supercells, and we could also view the thickness. And as you can see, we we are showing by Tuesday at around some. There is still a good amount of because this model is like a little not. Up to date as much, and thank you guys so much for watching. And peace.